Welcome to Dr. Square. In today's video, we are going to explore a crucial aspect of NVivo's capabilities. How to use its powerful autocoding feature to identify sentiments within any Twitter dataset. It is very important to understand what happens at background when NVivo uses its identify sentiment autocoding wizard function. NVivo carefully considers every word in the sentences, paragraphs or tweets within your dataset. And if there is any sentiment carrying word in your dataset, let it be sentences or paragraphs or in the whole tweet. Let's take the examples of defeat and victory. So first consider the word defeat. It carries a negative connotation, right? So NVivo might assign it a score such as minus one. Conversely, a word like victory typically has a positive sentiment and might receive a score like plus one. Now let's say we encounter crunching defeat, which is even more negative than the simple word defeat. In this case, NVivo could rate it at minus four. On the flip side, Marvelous victory might receive a plus four score. So NVivo will score each sentence or paragraph based on the sentiment carrying words and their intensity as well as I just described. The NVivo scores those sentences, paragraphs or tweets as positive or negative and neutral as well. And then scores these sentences or paragraphs in a way that further classifies sentiments into moderately positive or extremely positive as well as moderately negative or extremely negative. And naturally, if there are no sentiment carrying words in a particular sentence or paragraph, NVivo will classify it as a neutral. Let's put this sentiment analysis into action within our Twitter dataset. And after applying it, we will take a closer look at the results, examining how NVivo has categorized the sentiments within our dataset. So these were the files that we imported at first hand. Just right click on any dataset, choose this autocode, select the second option and then hit next. Now coding sentences, coding paragraphs, coding entire cell for data sets. For example, if you want and we were to consider that sentence or paragraph or the whole tweet, choose the right option accordingly. For now, I'm going to leave as is code sentences and hit finish. So you see NVivo has graphically presented those sentiments in tree map shape. So by the height and width and the and the box style you will come to know how much data this neutral sentiment contains and positive mixed and uh, negative accordingly yeah, yes there's mix as well that contains both positive and negative sentiment carrying words if you take cursor on any of the sentiment you will see coding references 453 because we chose coding uh, by sentences then it means there are 453 neutral sentences in this data set items coded mean we have you know drawn the sentiments from single file which is this profile and then if you you know go to positive then you will see 248 um, sentences mixed 48 sentences and negative 25 sentences so it means you can rate his profile accordingly by navigating through this tree map you can choose this graphical presentation by going into this sunburst in sunburst you will see the results in this sunburst form 248 sentences positive mixed are 48 sentences neutral 453 and if you go back to this layout then go to summary at this end you will see the number of coding references which means that we have chosen sentences then you can use that way by the way this is a part of analysis which we will discuss under this explore ribbon tab that we haven't touched so far so i'm leaving it here in terms of the analysis part and now where to find those sentiments afterwards go to the sentiment tab and you will see negative, moderately negative, very negative, positive, moderately positive, very positive. After NVivo has identified sentiments in your data set, it is essential to review the results to ensure accuracy. Machine errors can occur and it's crucial to catch and correct them. Here's how to do it. I mean, you can just double click on sentiments and this section will open a new window displaying the sentences or paragraphs that NVivo has coded into that sentiment. Let's take the example of very negative. So you have to carefully read through the sentences or paragraphs that you, you know, have opted beforehand within this sentiment. Look for any instances where the sentiment analysis might have gone awry. Machine errors could occur if your word is misinterpreted or if the context isn't accurately considered. Let's take the example of very first sentence, scary jokes of earthquake. This might be a negative sentence for one person, but maybe uh, a neutral for another. So if you want to throw this sentence out of the very ca negative category, just right click on this 
uncode or click on uncode from this sentiment if you want to click on uncode then you have to select that sentiment from which you want to decode it okay that sentence disappears from this very negative uh, sentiment code sentiment analysis is a powerful tool for uncovering the emotional undertones in your twitter data make sure you have subscribed to our channel and hit the bell icon button so you never miss any of our future videos